Once the color land, the whole wash me out, shy, wash me out, I'm going to be honest with the apostles of great men's school. Tell them to all the brothers with the highway and byway preach this word in sincerity and in truth with much honesty. And we are the evil race who to come out here every weekend, you know what I mean, to promise the destruction of his present kingdom, you know what I mean, and the ushering of the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, the our shy with the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, you know what I mean, to, pro to, to proclaim the heritage. And the people who come in the transatlantic slave trade, you know what I mean, whether through the, um, the Western Hemisphere or scattered abroad, through the whole entire world, mainly the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that look. They are the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible. See, and all the events that seen transpiring on the earth right now, see, is pertaining to the prophecies concern, concerning you people, you know what I mean? So, what we're going to do right now, we're going to speak up on some of the prophets that were basically <laughs> and get manifest upon the earth where the majority of people are even ignorant of but we as the men of the Lord will come out to edify, you know what I mean, the elect and what's going on, man. Now, with a society that over the years is dominated by the American influence basically, you know what I mean, the so-called white, this is the so-called white man empire overall but there's controversy right now in the so-called white man empire you have russia and their alliances basically we're basically coming up against america now you know what i mean what they want me economically or what they want me from a geopolitical um stance you know what i mean so here so here what now all of this is already prophesied in the Bible to happen, yeah? See? As a part of the things that were supposed to take place before the kingdom of heaven gets set up. So that will come to shed light upon the situations that will take place now, even in Jamaica. You know what I mean? And how everything will work together to fulfill the prophecies that the Lord already get written down over generations. You know what I mean? Peace of God. This is Habakkuk 2 and verse 2. All right. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. Right. The scripture says, Write the vision and make it be plain upon tables. What vision? All the things that the Lord said they were going to happen through the course of time. It was already written down in the Bible. See, that's what the see to happen. See, you can find the point of reference in the scriptures, man, that you can know that the Lord already speak of it before it happens. You know what I mean? Um, um, upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And the tables where the scripture I mentioned is the scripture itself, the Bible. This is where all the visions are written. You know what I mean? And we are the ones that are in the highway and byway that is running. Because we are the ones who read it and get in the understanding of it via the Holy Spirit and the Lord Yahweh Shai. That's right. The Raka Kodash. So we're telling you now, these prophecies is full well in effect. And as they go by, they will become more obvious, you know what I mean? And undeniable. Right now, a nigga can't say, how oh, anything will take place, whatever I will affect him. Affect him. Or how it even related to any form of prophecy at all. You know what I mean? But, little do you know that, look, every single detail. We say it take place now on a major level. It's already written in the scriptures, man. And that's what we're gonna bring out this evening. Alright, go on, brother. Verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. The vision is yet for an appointed time. So all them prophecies will get written in the scriptures through generations. There was a specific time when they were gonna fulfill. The effect, all them vision here are gonna come out at a specific time, yeah? And that time is no. That's why it's the prophets. Basically coming out and saying, and guess what? This cannot be resisted on no level, man. 
Because you have the pastors, you have the Christians them coming up trying to discredit what brothers come out of the area and barrier doing. See, and them just can't come up against it, man. They must try semantics. You know what I mean? Them can't come from a biblical standpoint. So, as I can see right now, we are the foremost authority dealing with the scriptures, man. Right. Nobody can come up on this level, man. Your pastors can't come up on the level to come bring out the prophecies, them, yeah? We are the only one from the level to break on the book of Revelation, to break on the book of Daniel, to break on any prophecies in the Bible. Right. You know what I mean? Um, bring the book to the one that is learned. Please up, brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, says, For the vision is yet for the appointed time. Right. But at the end it shall speak. And we are at the end. And not lie. I only know that we are at the end. Because of the brothers that we just see out here, we, we, we basically look like a strange thing, strange thing to you. What the hell them niggas on the corner doing every Saturday? Look strange, look funny. This is the, the prophecies basically being manifest before your eye, man. The prophets coming out. Sign, See? Sign, That's why I know we are in the head. You know what I mean? This is not a circle, not a circus. This is not something out here for entertainment that we all here for collect some money or something like that. We all here for bring on the imminent, the vision that is imminently taking place on the earth, man. No, no man. Rapidly, man. Just like we see the government developing rapidly. Right. Hey. That's how the prophecy is coming out rapidly, man. So it's speeding up. Yeah, speeding it. Yeah, yeah brother. Wow. Um, it says, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And it's not lying, man. Though it tarry, wait for it. Right. Because it will surely come. Hey, we're waiting for it. The only point we're waiting for now is the calamity that comes with everything else, man. Right. The because there's a great crashing coming, man. There's a great crashing coming, man. Well, a lot of people not expecting because they're busy and they're daily life doing whatsoever wickedness they're doing. Right. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. He said he would not turn around. Right? He said, um, Isaiah 13 and verse 4. Right. The noise of a multitude in the mountains. Right. Like as of a great people. A tumultuous noise. A tumultuous noise. You can see. Uh, look here. A couple of days ago, Russia had one, one of the biggest drill since the Cold War, man. How much, how much, how much, how much men involved in that drill? 300,000 military men and equip, equipment preparing for what? As far as I can see. You know what I mean? We're in the time of war, man. We're in the time of war, we're going to see a major world war get fought on the planet, man. You say no joke. Remember? A tumultuous night. A tumultuous night. Of the kingdom. What's the tumult? A tumult which is when a military oh. go out and make a battle cry, man. We're in the time of a battle. When, when battle cry be made, hey. If you watch the news, you hear them say, oh, the drums of war. Right. They hear the council talking about the drums of war. The arm, man. The drums of war beating. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have the Russians coming out. I say, oh, look, we reserve the right to retaliate for whatsoever happened. With the 17 men were dead right here. Watch them dead. 17? 17 people now, man. Yeah. You know, whatsoever. Don't no, bobby. Because the situation over there in Syria is about to reach the next level, man. The tension between China and America is about to reach the next level, man. Have all people believe that they live in a separate world from the things that will take place abroad? They ain't in a separate world, they ain't in the same world, and everything will happen internationally. What will happen in Jamaica? You have already, people already have complained about the devaluation of the dollar. Because shit that happened abroad affects the Jamaican economy, man. Complain about China taking over our country. And the, the, the reason why you've been complaining that China is taking over is because shit 
is up in abroad, we are care not to know about. Right? Yeah. Right. It says, um, of kingdoms, again, right. a tumultuous night, a tumultuous night, of the kingdoms, war is coming, man, of nations, of nations, war, war tree is coming, man, they are together. See? Over seven years, out they are telling you that war is coming, man, and it's going to affect you dearly. The likes you will never imagine. Right. You know what I mean? What is coming upon you people? See? You never think about in your lifetime. Put up, man. Nice meal. You know what I mean? Right. Come on, bro. Say the Lord of us must the horse of the bus. Say the Lord. The one who you're ignorant to call Jesus and Jehovah, which is Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh Shai. See? He is the one who is setting up all the events that we see at transpire right. right now on the earth, man. The world that is set up to turn back. No right. peace to this world, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't time a war, man. Right. Peace is no. Coming to an end. Nice. Uh, 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 article, yeah. from, this is an article from um, our, um, the, the week that the UK says, right. Are we on the brink of World War III? Right, hey. A regular nigga, especially these churches. What them churches are telling about World War III, man? Nothing. Because they are not the prophets yet. Right. What them telling you about World War III that is coming that's going to affect every single one of you. From, 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 from granddad to that grandchild. Uh, you know what I mean? What them tell you, man? See? Why the rest of the world concerned about the war that is coming? You're just talking about peace there. Peace there, my ass. Peace is a, is a vain talk because we're saying it's a peace there. No, there's no peace. You know what I mean? There's no peace, yo. This is what the rest, the people of the world, are actually seeing what's coming. We're actually seeing what's going on. This is the question that I've been asked, man. Are we on the brink of World War III? Right. Mounting tensions over Syria. Mounting tension. Who oh. is in Syria? Yeah. Russia is in Syria, man. Who else is in Syria? Iran. America is in Syria. Iran is in Syria. China. Turkey is in Syria. China is in Syria. Israel is in Syria, man. Must turn the horse of the battle. You know what I mean? Middle East. That it says, France! The other day, when the Russian thing is shut down, yep. France was the one who a fire missiles over there in the Syria, man. All the parties will get ready for World War III and gather in the valley that the scripture said, man. The scripture talked about it from day one. No doubt, man, a nigga ignore ignored. Like, say, yo, not now, go on. Hey, we have all right. Hey, when you make. You know what I mean? I make me go drive the car. I've enough girl. That's what stupid ass nigga I think. I'll continue forever, man. You can read this. this is Life is about to, dra to be drastically changed, man. Exactly. Drastically. What about that? There's mounting tensions over Syria. Right. Iran and the Gaza Strip coupled with military militarization in right. South China Sea are fueling fears of a global conflict. There is a global conflict coming, oh, man. Wow. America is the po is in power, and somebody is trying to usurp America. And that and that, and, and, and that um, power that is trying to usurp is China and Russia. And, Russia. Uh, anything more to and the thing is, no time in our history okay. where a nation trying to usurp another nation. No time in our history. It never worked out that it got peaceful. It always turned in a how serious conflict where a lot of people die. We know the good. transition of power. You know what I mean? Which China now get it. And Russia now get it. And Russia now get it. The kingdom is going to give in to what? The science. Of the people of the most high. That's right. Why the saints and the people of the most high? See? The majority of the ones were supposed to be the saints. Out here acting the fool.
to the Lord of our elect. Where more just get rid of the Messiah, man. So you get cut off in the rush. Can you know what did that ear? That, that, that ear was a rush. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man, you know? Right. Come on, brother. Jeremiah 50 and verse 22. Right. A son of battle is in the land. A son of battle. And of great we, destruction. We, we, we already witnessed it. We already start to witness it over there in Assyria, man. A son of battle, man. Your bum jumping every day. You know what I mean? Tomahawk missile, you have missiles coming from out of sea. You are praying, I'm launching missiles at a target. You have people in Syria living in, living in hell right now. It's a whole different perspective for the world, for the people in Syria. You know what I mean? While well, a Negro out here, I look for the next party location. There are people in Syria, another place in the world. I, I look for the um, yeah. I look for the next missile where I come to get them ass covered somewhere, man. 